1969, this, the, the nation had this national conference on curriculum development. And if you're talking about content and you say it's not about the policy per se, but we should also talk about the content, we felt that uh, they had a, a curriculum which the teacher, irrespective of what he or she was trying to uh, do by getting away out of uh, maybe uh, the jobless uh, society, he has a, a, a manual with which to follow by imparting such knowledge to the children. Is the curriculum still evident in our education system or is it uh, obsolete? I think it's obsolete. I think that's the problem. Uh, and one of my pet peeves about that curriculum is the fact that history as a subject was taken out of our curriculum. History you know, as a subject? Yes. It was you know, now they do something, you know, called social studies or what have you that does not emphasize where these children are coming from. Because if you don't know your past, you cannot, uh, you know, uh, understand your future. If you don't know where you've been as a, as a country, then the future is going to be very difficult to, to envision. Um, I, I did a random testing of some kids, you know, a while back. You know, do you know who, who Dr. Namdi Azikiwe is? And was like, um, 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 no. I mean, if I ask who, who is Barack Obama or George W. Bush, they probably would know. But they couldn't tell me anything about, you know, Dr. Namdi Azikiwe. A lot of our children do not know, you know, what Chief uh, Aulawo has done for this nation. We do not know our history, and we cannot move forward. So that curriculum... I think is, is outdated. A curriculum that does not emphasize or make possible, and maybe sometimes it's the infrastructure that's not available for the teachers, you know, make possible technology in the classroom today is outdated. You know, a curriculum, you know, that, you know, does not uh, uh, factor in, and, and again, I want to applaud, uh, you know, Lagos State, they're bringing this back, which is you can't graduate out of high school unless you learn a skill. I think that's great. That's the way to go. Give them the basics. But again, give that, them the skills. Isn't that the whole idea of the uh, six three three four system? Mark, we just uh, brought up because we felt that that uh, we were told at that point in time that uh, the first three years in high school will be for you to learn a skill. So if you were going to go out of school after the GSS three, the junior secondary education, you want to be a plumber, a carpenter. Then we had an introductory laboratory which uh, we felt uh, was in use then. But today, is that still the case? I, well, it's, it's, it is in, in, uh, in, in concept. But a lot of these schools do not even have these facilities to do the things that you know, the 3-3 the three, three, you know, system is supposed to make happen. Um, I'm yet to, to, and I have the opportunity to go into some schools, and, and I don't see where, for example, you have a carpentry uh, 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 laboratory that is up to scale. Uh, in fact, they're not even existing, let alone you know, being up to scale. I, I, my, my son schooled, uh, uh, had, had his elementary education in the United States. T up till today, I have a case that you could store uh, a, your CD or DVDs in that he made in school, if I showed it to you, you would think a professional made it because they had the miter saw, they had all the tools that you can use to create something like a professional. You know, these prof, things had, are not we had, we had all of that in place then because I still can picture my high school then. They had a laboratory for the introductory technology. It was a course. And you say now it doesn't we exist. Just, we read about them now. We, we, we look at the books, we see the pictures. We know the hands-on, you know, is not, you know, in, in most of our schools because the infrastructure is no longer available. I mean, I, I understand that it would be available in your time. It was, even though we didn't do the 3-3 system in my time, you know, such amenities were available even in my time way back then. You know, but, you know, we have not put the money into this uh, system to maintain it, you know, up to where it is uh, viable today for our children. In terms of seeking how to get back to our glory days, uh, Adishakin here suggests that
the major problems of Nigeria educational system are bad lecturers and archaic irrelevance curriculum. So one can then ask, why we see or why we wait to see if we could just come up with a policy and then design the proper content? Can we maybe for a start or in the meantime just redesign the curriculum? Subjects that teach skills that you can easily just come out of school with and begin to make a living with. Absolutely. And, and you know, I don't think it's the, if, if there's anything wrong with the policy. Like I said, it, it's, it's, the, it's the content, is who is teaching, it's you know, how much um, uh, encouragement do we give our teachers, how much encouragement do we give our kids. Um, when I returned to Nigeria, I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll you know, just get back into the university system. And I was introduced to the university system as it was in 2009 for about six months. And I was like, no way will I be able to survive in this environment. It will choke me. It would stifle me. Because the way we treat our students, the, the way we, 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 we're so non, the nonchalant about even the curriculum. I mean, how do you explain, you go a whole semester, you don't show up for lectures, and then two to three weeks you know, to the end of the semester, you're like, okay, you're gonna, ramming everything down the student's throat, and you give them a you know, kokamaimai examination, and that is education. Whatever happened to lectures, whatever happened to practicals, whatever happened to writing uh, projects, writing essays, you know, some of the things, I mean, lecturers, some lecturers have grades that are out, you know, three or four semesters. What about supervisors? Why? Or who supervises them? Who should well, go see, around to find out if this lecturer comes to class or not? In any case, uh, for the elementary school and even the high school, then once upon a time we had the uh, inspectors who would and come the the sit at the back, and they sit at the back of the classroom and watch the teacher teach us. So who does that now? It's elementary school, I think, you know, they're doing, well, some of the, the ones that I know about are doing a great job in that area. They have inspectors that still come and still, you know, they would look at your uh, lesson notes, you know, they look at what you're teaching, they tell you. You know, these students also have uh, external examinations that they have to take so that you know where your school fits, you know, in, in the state or in the local government area. So we, the, I think the, the problem we have uh, is, is by the time we get to university level, everything is gone, you know, all right, it's, it's, it's lax. Uh, we, we, we are now in the ivory tower and we can do, you know, whatever we want. I, I, I experienced students apologizing to me for walking through their class because, you know, I was doing some work for one of the uh, uh, major universities here and my office is such that I had to walk through their classroom to get into my, into my office. And the classroom was jam-packed, you know, and I just, you know, snuck in. And the students were apologizing to me for sitting in their classroom while I was the one interrupting what they were supposed to. I had to tell them, no, if you're not here, I am not here. You are the reason that I am here. So please be comfortable. But, you know, they're so used to being, you know, maltreated and, you know, being disrespected. You know, and, and from my perspective, Every student, right from elementary to university, deserves respect. And because if they are not in school, we don't have a job. That's the way.